Okay. You should have uh, marked all the way around from uh, our, our circle here we drew out to a mark three eighths away from that point. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to measure an inch and three quarters from from the mark we just made. So we're going to measure an inch and three quarter to a mark right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, get a square and also line this square up on our line, whatever whatever kind of square you have, and uh, get that square to the line and draw your line out here. Now what we're going to do is we're, we're going to measure again an inch and three quarters from this point out to the line out to the end of our line and uh, just take your tape measure okay now we're going to complete our triangle here and you can use a, a straight edge however you decide to do that and uh, okay so what we have is a uh, is a 45 degree mark here and uh, we're an inch and three quarters going this way and an inch and three quarters going both directions this way and what that's going to do is that's the basis for putting our our uh, our turbine blade onto our uh, we're going we're actually going to just put that right on the line uh, for each space all the way around and uh, we're gonna we're gonna epoxy glue them initially on here when then we're gonna put some reinforcement on here later but anyway so you want you want to put this triangle on here on the three quarter one and three quarter from our mark right here and then connect it up and uh, make sure that when you do this this one here you get it square to the line and then you got to do that in each place all the way around and so you're gonna have these little triangles going all the way around here and make sure they're all going to the right okay so go ahead and take care of that and uh, I'll see you at the next section